Hey, you wait for daddy before you open that door. You ready for swim class? Yeah! All right. Okay, bye, I love you. Oh yeah, look at this. Yes. Good morning, allies. It's great to be home. Ben, can you say good morning, allies? We are going to swim class. Sorry, I don't really film anything in swim class. There's two reasons for that. One, there's a whole lot of other kids and kind of Leia instilled in me this vlog lesson 101 that you don't want to film other people's kids, particularly if they're not your kids and, and they don't want to be in the vlog. Two, I'm going by myself, so I'm not going to set up a tripod like a jackass and, and film. I could, but then I would be weird. Er, weird er. Things I miss from Maryland, that Mustang. <laughs> I like driving low. <coughs> yeah, I, I like the feeling of being in a low car. I'm back up high again, which is nice and comfortable. I feel very, you know, in control, but... I like to be in low, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, so... Swim class, great success, great successful swim class. Ben's doing really good, his confidence level is really high in the water. Um, we just gotta get him to start kind of propelling himself, if you will. His kicks are good, his, little, his paddling needs some work. Uh, I think that's always the, the, the harder thing to teach kids. And then there's the floating aspect, right? Leia's asked me to pick up lunch, uh, so I think I'm gonna stop by Wabba Wabba Grill. Wabba Wabba Grill? Wabba Wabba Grill, y'all. To, uh, to, yeah, you want some Wabba Grill? You want lunch too? Yeah. Okay, well we're gonna get the Wubba Grill. The Wubba Wubba Grill. There she is. So one of the big things we gotta do today is buy a toilet, but also I'm going around and I'm making a, uh, a punch list. And a punch list is basically items that are wrong of things that already should have been done. For example, we've got paint uh, right here on the wood frame that, that's damaged that needs to be repaired, so I make a punch list item for that. Um, <clears throat> we just walk around, see, oh, we got over spillage paint right there on the molding. Gotta take care of that. So we're repainting our, uh, our living room area because Leia wants to go to a different paint scheme. But uh, this was not done. So the painter needs to come back and do that. They did a really good job on that molding though. Look at that edge. That is a crisp, clean edge. Ooh. Paint on the office door is totally screwed. Yo guys! So we're calling this new segment, Go Into Gaba Go Back Agains. Every time we go to a home improvement store, because we gotta go back again, basically. So. It's the Gaba Go Back Again store. It's the Gaba Go Back Again store. <laughs> Seriously, every time we every time we go to home improvement, we buy something and we gotta go back. So it's the gotta go back again. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Today's gotta go back again is Lowe's. Gotta go back again to Lowe's. This is my hiccup. Is this your hiccup? Okay. Self cleaning how? I don't know. Press the button. Let's see. Free yourself from the hassle of cleaning your toilet. I'd love to. Act to clean by American standard. The toilet bowl that cleans itself with a simple touch of a button. I just find it so hard to believe. The cleaning power of the onboard cleaning solution and active clean system leaves a freshly scented, sparkling clean bowl. With two cleaning cycle options, the toilet also features a clean curve rim that eliminates. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. See how it's got this like tubing right here? Leia hates this. So any toilet that doesn't have the tubing is potentially a buy for Leia, but very few toilets actually support that. They all have the tubing. I like oh, this one doesn't. Toilet. These two don't, but they're crappy looking. I like What's crappy toilet. looking about them? I, I, you looked at those before and you said you didn't want one like that. Is it too small? I don't know. This no, because you you're, you're, it's a quarter, price. it's a quarter bath, so you have to get small. Is this small? 
Whatever it is, it needs to be 12 inch rough in, which I think all these. Or is it shorter because only four people are tall? Huh? Power wash cleaning. What the hell does that mean? Again, what is this? How much is this thing? It's $219. Toilet technology out there. This has a germ free, no touch flush. When you run out of batteries, when you run out of batteries, it stops flushing. We do not want that. I want Bluetooth flush so I can just flush it on you when people are going to the bathroom. <laughs> like you could, it's starting to get smelly, so you flush it with them. FYI, guy. Courtesy flush for you. I know this is the toilet we're going with. The smooth side one, so Leia doesn't have to clean as much. Huzzah. Woo! All right, I'm giving away a free tip here. Home Depot, Lowe's, all the places that sell toilets. You should be putting toilets that you're selling in your bathroom so that people can try them out. So that we don't have to worry about round versus elongated. They could try them both and figure out which ones fit them. Boom, that's free money. Free money, guys. Okay, this is actually much bigger than I thought. Uh, this, this is hanging over. Let's try it. Uh, yeah! Excellent. All right, so this refrigerator is the one that's still leaking, so I need to get it over here, away from the spot where the new refrigerator is going. So I'm gonna turn off the ice because it's still leaking. I'm gonna yank this thing out. But first I gotta slide everything away. Leia bailed on me before I could get her help in doing this. Ah. What am I hitting now? Oh, that's not good. I just dinged up my new wood floor. Because this thing is too big. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Hey, blue tape, I needed to find some of this, so that's excellent. Okay, next step. Next step I'm not looking forward to, I've actually got to disconnect the refrigerator, but remember, I've got to turn off that water valve and then I've got to snip the line, so there's gonna be water everywhere. Um, no good way to do that. Okay, I've turned off the water, I've cleared the line as best I can. Okay guys, here's my problem. Remember when we made this, we had to splice these connectors because this line, the, the refrigerator line, was totally stripped. So now I've got these funky cut downs. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip actually their end because screw them, and then we'll, we'll deal with that in however I wanna go forward. But I need some scissors, so let me be right back. Okay, normally I would use something with much better cutting teeth, but they're the ones that screwed me over by selling me a product that had one threaded ends and two was leaking, so screw that, I'm gonna use these dikes. Okay, and I will hide that over here. No one is the wiser. This guy, I will shove him in the hole here. You bastards with their stupid. All right, so now I have to, now I have to get to this refrigerator over here so I can plug it in. Double checking that I'm not scratching any of my floor. <laughs> not great looking. Whoa! Sounds pretty bad. So this is gonna sit until they come and get it tomorrow. Okay, punch list time. So basically, put this around your hand here. Try to. Then take your little punch list, whatever. I'm gonna make a small X on a piece of tape. Go around and mark all the spots. I forgot one, this closet door. 
That whole hand thing's not gonna work. Garage door opener. The paint right here. I don't know what happened here. And then right here and all through, that door should not have been closed. Painter told us that we should close it, but um, paint was not set fully. See the drips? Uh, drippy drip drips. Okay, so that's how you work a punch list. What is going on? That's how you work a punch list. Just mark all your spots. Now I gotta go back and check my little checklist. Where is it? Allies, it's Sunday fun day, which means I can catch up on what I've been meaning to do all week when I was on travel. I was an idiot and I didn't copy the drone project, the repairing the drone project over. It would have been perfect to work on that when I was on uh, travel because there's no one in the background. I wouldn't be interrupted at all, so now I get to do that because I got plenty of time and everybody's out of the house. I hope, Leia, you understand this when you see this because you told me I was supposed to do that list that's on the wall and I did a lot of it, the really hard stuff, but uh, I really need to do this while you're gone and the kids are gone. Okay, love you, bye. So this is a story about the cool, one of the coolest knives I own and also one of the most temperamental knives that I own, the GEC Beer Scout. Come on now, come on now. The GEC Beer Scout is probably one of the coolest knives I own with this cool sheep's foot blade. Can you see the problem yet? Is it focusing on me? See those rust spots? Backside's even worse. I love good knives. I think everybody knows I love good knives. I've been carrying a knife um, for as long as I could get my parents to give me one or let me buy one. Uh, I love pocket knives. I've always loved pocket knives. I've never done anything dangerous with a pocket knife other than cut myself and most of the times it was accidentally and I was actually trying to do something positive. With that said, this GEC knife, man, with the rust going on, um, I did not expect that. If you compare that to my case knives, you compare that to any of my other knives, there's no way I would tell you that I would expect this much amount of rust, surface level rust. Now sure, I, I hit it with a steel wool and I apply a thin coat of oil. I do all of that, but you know, I'm, I'm not keeping this in some kind of hydrated environment. I keep this where I keep all my knives and, and this is the only one that really just doesn't like the temperature here. It doesn't like living in California. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually thinking about giving this knife away to give it to somebody then in a different temperature climate where they they will be better suited to to have this because I, I feel like I'm not giving this knife a good home right now because I treat this like I treat all my knives. I, I care for it and I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it, it's literally one of my coolest knives. I, I think that the little, the little bale at the end here separates it from a lot of other pocket knives, but man, the, the rusting is, it, it bothers me. It, it really does bother me, and it's, it's probably the steel quality, which is good. It's good steel quality. It's sharper than my case knives, that's for sure, at least from what I've experienced. But there's more upkeep here. It's not the Glock of, of, of knives. It's more like my, uh, my Colt, my Colt revolver of knives, right? So. Just something to uh, to remember. Knives, like all things, have a temperament to them. Whether it's you know hand tools like your axes or your hatchets or your or your hammers, there's a certain level of support. You can't just own it and then like leave it. Like your car, you have to be you have to be ready to go the extra mile and take care of it. Yeah, it's a beautiful knife though. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can. Hold on one second. Probably one of the biggest reasons why I bought this was, was this feature. Glow in the dark capability. Yeah, buddy. This knife glows in the dark. I love that about this knife. Anyway, question of the day. 
what is the, I wouldn't say biggest disappointment, but biggest surprise regarding a tool level of maintenance that you had to take on that you weren't expecting to have to take on. For me, this GEC knife, GEC makes beautiful knives. This is actually, I, I bought a couple, uh, I bought two of these and I bought a couple other pocket knives at GEC. And I haven't had any issues other than this one. Um, don't know why, but um, I'm gonna go scrub it down right now with some steel wool and hit it with some oil. All right guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your your thoughts and opinions. Guys, allies, I don't know exactly what tomorrow holds, but I know that I will be recording it, and I know that I will be showing it to you. So until tomorrow, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We are days away from the one year mark. Like, literally, four days, five days away. Guys, it's crazy. I thank you so much for going along with this ride on with me, not riding on me, but this ride along with me, and I hope you stick around for some more. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow.